Mike from around the world. Mike, welcome tonight. Pastor Paul, God bless you. God bless you. Man, you sound good. You're coming in great tonight. Awesome. Hey, man. I heard Kevin. That was, that was uh, Kevin is awesome. He is awesome. He, he really yeah, he is. He's, he's the, Mike, he's authentic. He's the real deal. He and his wife and, and children, I'm telling you, this is authentic, you know, real people. I was just talking about that. I said there's a commercial um, view that looks like an anointing, you know, where commercial people get out there, and there's a real anointing, and he has that real anointing. Amen. Amen. There you go, Kevin, if you're listening, man. You just got the high endorsement from the man, Mike from around the world. That's pretty huge. Amen. All right, Mike, uh, let's get into this, Mike. Uh, this military, uh, look, I'm being inundated with phone calls, emails, people sending me videotape of tanks, armored vehicles, trucks, equipment, moving around all over the country they're coming in. So you got to help us. I mean, are we, are we in trouble here? Is this a defense mechanism? Is this Jade Helm again? We need to ask this question again tonight. Well, Jade Helm is is part of it, Pastor Paul, but we have cut China off, right? And so we have, uh, here's what's happening. China's cut off, right? They're, they're a major supplier of electronics, innovation, uh, lots of things we get from the USA or from China. Well, we have to now <clears throat> entertain the fact that Taiwan, Taiwan might be um, indisposed shortly. Right. So we have teamed up with India. This has been ongoing for about uh, five months, five months. Strong ties between the USA and India have been going forward. We're talking about uh, uh, electronics, right? AI, yeah, yeah. Uh, manufacturing of common products and services uh, like containers, bags, <clears throat> plastics, cartons, everything we got from China. All those uh, orders are being redirected to uh, India. So uh, in our militaries are to do joint training, right? So this is a switchover. And the reason why is because there's a high expectation of trouble with China dealing with uh, Taiwan and Russia. So NATO right now, they're also positioning. What you see in the USA is mirrored in all other NATO countries. Okay. So this isn't just... A, a special USA drill or something. No, this no, is it's not. so that all the NATO countries are doing the same thing. They're they're moving oh, yeah. to. Re okay, and it's all about China and Russia. Is what you're saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a global. This is a. Uh, I hate to say it, but this is part. Maybe it's why in England they have World War One, Two, and Three uh, in their museum. You think maybe that's why? <clears throat> because they, they like to they like to foretell things you yeah. know they they operate by these guys i'll go ahead and see it. these guys are strange and they operate by this uh a, a certain standard so everything that has happened right so the reason why uh 9 11 you had people talking about the simpsons and these other um uh people who have forecasted 9 11 the same thing with the uh, gulf war same thing with the uh um the, the Ukraine and in uh, Crimea, Russia, you, and all these different places, any type of conflict or large scale terrorist activity has been foretold, right? But it's been very obscured, uh, placed in these uh, weird places so that people can see it, but they may not have understanding of it. That's a rule they live by, right? They make these uh, weird public declarations. And as of late, things have taken a right. turn these, uh, for the worst so to speak. So they are really preparing, Pastor Paul. And uh, so expect an outbreak. My, my advice to everybody is be prepared. Wow. Really be prepared. Well, and now that we're on this topic here, and, and, and now you're, you're uh, helping answer the lot of questions why we got all these troops moving uh, in defensive um, positioning, apparently. To, you got to close all the holes. Potential That's avenues, right. and and it's all about China and Russia. China, That's right. China, of course, is going to Cuba. They're, they're, look, this they're going to build a train. Now it's not a spy, a little spy office. This is a tr military training facility. Can you tell us what they were really going to build down there? What is going on? Well, uh, 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 their spy center, 
okay, down there, it's right, right there. You're talking about a pretty vast uh, installation, both above ground and below ground. Lots of what, uh, a lot of things that China does is in the ocean, below the uh, surface where people can't see it. And um, so they're going to build a new base there. That'll be a launch platform. The USA is going to have to counter that. We, we can't allow that. Let's put it that way. And uh, so that's going to be a, a one place of contention. Australia, they also have to be prepared for some changes. You know, China's real serious. Uh, they've taken a, uh, one of the cars from Russia to say they're not going to do it and do it anyway. And so, uh, past all, the world is realigning itself for real combat. There are real things happening right now nobody's going to talk about. But there are exchanges have taken place. It will escalate. Um, you know, it's going to burst out from its current containment, and everybody's going to know. But by that time, um, things will be uh, quite visible. But they want to build a base there, and the USA and NATO have to counter that base. We can't allow them to have that real estate uh, to operate freely. Uh, a spy base is one thing, right? But when China builds a base, there are launch platforms and command and control centers. Right. And every place China puts something, we can allow them to do that. That's very close to what we have, right? So we can't, we can't do that. This will cause uh, more contention, right? Um, so relationships with this relationship with China is being, you know, it's being cast off, which is why we're building up one with India. Well, again, we're talking about going from a spy satellite station to a military training facility, which will obviously have airfield, uh, launch pads, um, ships will be able to pull into. I mean, and look, this is a military facility. You, you know that it's not going to be some little rinky-dink thing. It's a it's a serious uh, a foothold in our hemisphere. Um, and they're teaming up with Cuba uh, for this joint military training facility there. And President Xi doesn't seem to have any deterrence. He's doing whatever he wants to do, wherever he wants to do it in this nation. And America, I, I mean, seriously, Mike, we seem to be null and void. We seem to be impotent. There no, seems to be no, uh, no just, we just lay down. Am I, am I wrong? What's happening? Well, it, it looks that way right now, but as I said before, something has been happening for the last uh, four to five months. There's been a lot of things happening on back channels. I, I wouldn't necessarily credit um, the individuals that people see in power. I wouldn't do that. But we've had, uh, there's been a lot going on behind the scenes. So to maybe avoid, to avoid um, the American people, right? The American people are absorbed in something else. They don't want to take, you know, take away from that. And so what they're doing is um, they're letting the American people focus on one thing and they do a different thing. Because if the American people found out, let's go ahead and face it, everybody's going to want to jump on, uh, you know, their reporting sites and get their, get their info and get it out there. And so what that normally does in this environment, because there are so many people with uh, cell phones and they're willing to report things, it puts everything out there. Well, what our enemies, what, what we know, the enemy knows, right? So they can't put things out to the public. Um, for example, outside of Florida, the current government has put two more training, um, well, let's say establishments, uh, posted out there. They're, they're on careful watch. They've also activated the American Defense Net, um, fully activated. And that, that's so that... Um, we can't get accidentally hit by inbound missiles, right? That was a big concern for everybody. We've also dispatched uh, certain ships to the north, northern hemisphere, right above in the uh, polar regions, and south also. And the reason why is because we have to shadow and counter everything China is doing. China is becoming quite brazen, bold. Uh, they're flying in front of our air sortings uh, every so often. They're interrupting ship flow, um, all sorts of things. They're building up at the uh, Mexican border. And so this is going to turn, this could turn uh, very hot very quickly. A deterrence away from that 
is to counter everything they're doing. So these these uh, military vehicles that people see, these temporary posts that are being uh, put up in multiple states, uh, this is real. This isn't uh, fake. This is real. It's not training. This is uh, these are going to be actual posts, right? Observation posts for the country. And so we have there's a lot of work to do. And we have to do it very quickly. But China's not playing either. They're steadily moving things in a position in coordination with Iran, right? With Russia. It, it, I suspect it's only a matter of time, a very short time, before Israel is attacked, uh, fully attacked. Why? Um, yeah, fully. It, it will be a surprise attack. I, I don't, uh, you know, militarily, it's no secret. But the populace is not aware of no. how sensitive the issue, the current issue is, and how close people are to very destructive forces. I mean, we're, we're, we're in that time right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, and this is a very important fact. First of all, it's, it's good to know that there's military movement by the United States that be even, you know, don't worry about what the administration is saying right now. There's guys that are really watching our back. Uh, uh, some of the top brass in our militaries, well, our military. So uh, that's good to hear. Number two, yes, this is big news to say that Israel's about to be attacked. You know, because we keep hearing Israel talks about preemptive strikes on yeah. Iran or maybe Hezbollah in southern Lebanon or maybe it's uh, Syria or Russia or Iranians that are in Syria. Um, so if Israel's about to get hit, do you anticipate they get hit, or do they strike first? Which which? No, I think they're. I, I really do believe, Pastor Paul, that um, Israel is is they're going to take a hit first, right? Wow. They've already coordinated with NATO. They've they've been to the UN multiple times, and they keep getting this rejection. You know, you can't do that. You're too powerful. That's essentially uh, what everybody is telling them. You're too powerful. You can't hit Iran that way. And what they don't understand about our, well, they understand it, but it's bias. And we all know the root cause of this. There is a deep set hatred of Israel in every single nation. Not one nation is excluded from their hatred of Israel. Uh, if anybody does not believe that, all they have to do is sit within a UN meeting and they'll feel it, they'll hear it, and they'll see it. But, uh, they want Israel is the problem of this disruption in the world. That's the way the UN sees it. That's the way NATO sees it, right? And so Israel, they're being pressed. Uh, they have to attack. They, they know what's forming in Iran, but no one is going to support them if they attack Iran. So here, here's their I situation see. is this. They can forego a relationship with the UN and everybody else, right, and be... Uh, just be brutally beaten down by their own allies, or they can protect their people, uh, go ahead and take out certain parts of the infrastructure of Iran, but either way, it comes with great consequences for them. So what are they supposed to do, right? I believe this is why there's gonna be, if they don't preempt, Iran's gonna take, uh, they're gonna coordinate with Turkey and with Saudi Arabia and with Russia to hit Iran, or, uh, Israel. Israel. Wow. Yeah. You know, and the Bible says that, you know, you don't touch the apple of God's eye. Uh, Israel, of course, so important. But it is prophesied in Zechariah that Israel will get hit, that, that they will get yeah. attacked. And matter of fact, it'll look like half the city of Jerusalem is about ready to fall. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's going to look bad, but uh, the Lord will show up. Uh, I, I think you're right. They can't be. Uh, they can't do a preemptive strike because the whole world would just, my lord, they would turn on them. They have to sit back and wait, and 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 uh, they know they're going to get hit. And when they once they're hit, then then, then it's uh, all bets are off. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's big news though that <clears throat> you're anticipating it. Do you? Uh, so did you? Uh, we've noticed here also, Mike. We want to talk about the. Noah's Ark Doomsday Apocalypse Plan for 40,000 people. Have you ever heard of this before? Bill? Yeah, yeah. Who's behind yeah, they're, well, they're, they're not the only ones with an Ark uh, plan. Let's go ahead and face 
they know what's out there in space. They know what's coming, um, and they're going to prepare for it uh, every way they can. The USA is prepared for it. We moved most of the uh, farming uh, lands to very uh, isolated places. Uh, for example, in Nebraska, people may not be aware of this. This is going to sound crazy, but there are farms in Alaska that are more like, or not Alaska, but Nebraska that are more like doors than farmland. And those doors do open to underground farms, right? Uh, that's in Nebraska. Other places, same thing. So the USA has already taken into account that we're about to go through some very, we're going to have a buildup of some very harsh conditions. And summer's not here yet. And, and they're, um, you know, they're kind of escalating their plans. In fact, everything's going into hyper mode. People are going to see a lot of strange activity, right? Uh, this Nevada issue, that'll happen in more places than one. A couple of sunsets, that may happen again. This, uh, so, so preparatory actions are important to them, right? Because they can see in space. They can see everything in space. And if we do, in fact, have a binary system, whatever anybody wants to call it, it's the forces of it are coming here. They're going to disrupt our solar system. And if countries know about this, they're going to prepare for it, like China, that's built the ghost cities. But they are a certain distance away from coastlines, so they can withdraw backwards, you know, so on and so forth. Um, Russia, same thing, which is why they don't like, they, they'll never suffer certain parts of Russia to be attacked by anybody, right? Because those are these pullback zones, safe zones, USA, same thing. It is not uh, so much the elevation in the USA that's important to some of these people. It's some of their sealed bases. There are bases here in the USA that are just like submarines, right? In fact, uh, just in case nobody understands this, Texas has a submarine port, right, for the Pacific and the Atlantic, as well as the Gulf. That means you go underneath the United States to Texas, Right. What? You can also go to Canada to Texas on, uh, in a submarine. Underwater. And be dispatched. Yes, and be dispatched in different places. So we have we have infrastructure like that. It's very very uh, uh, complicated, right? Uh, but it's there. Is that a lot of people don't know that we have subports all over the place? So that means it's possible to take a submarine and go from California to the East Coast underneath the water, not all the way around, but underneath the uh, lands of America. So there's like, Absolutely. I'm going to say, uh, canals underground? Yeah, deep. These are these are very deep. These are deep channels. Deep rivers? I mean, deep channels. Yeah. So, so we, they could sustain a nuclear hit topside, and it would not disturb uh, those channels. Those channels are deep. And You're talking about miles underground. Not one mile, but miles. Wow. Um, we also have big tanks in the ground also for water, right? Thick, uh, you're talking about thick tanks. Th tanks with about, I think, 14 inch steel in their thinnest places, pressurized. Underground, they hold water. It was mandatory by 2022, 21 and 22, that every single United States base in the USA be self sufficient, that they operate um, self sufficiently, both with gas and electricity. So a lot of them use thermal energies of the earth uh, to power the bases and to heat their bases, right? That's amazing. That was mandatory. Yeah, it was mandatory. So um, they're so, now, they're now. if something ever happened, these bases are still going to operate, right? So, so there are a lot of things that they've been working on since World War II. In fact, some of, the, some of, the, some of these uh, uh, underground facilities, like the incineration facilities underneath Fort Hood, Texas, those were built back in World War II. Right, right at the end of World War II, they came over here. Uh, those guys were experts at building these underground facilities. So they've been preparing this long. They know what's coming. They can see everything out there. Trillions of dollars goes out in space. They monitor space for everything, right? It's a lot happening in space. And uh, so they know what's coming. If, if all the narrative of Nibiru or binary system or whatever people want to call it, if it's real, they have to prepare now. Right. Because it takes eight years, about eight years to prepare for any type of inbound object. You just can't do that in a couple of years. You can't do that. Uh, so they are prepared. We're not talking about Cheyenne Mountain, things like that. No, those are shallow places. Um, West Virginia governor, did he not talk about a supersonic 
um, transportation system. Yep. That will be underneath West Virginia and go all the way to California. Yeah, he and did. And he didn't. He talked about that a couple of times, and they told him to stop. Shut right? up. To stop. Nobody should know about that. Yeah. Why? Because it exposed Pennsylvania's um, high speed system. You can go from you can go from Pittsburgh, PA, to DC in a couple of minutes. You can do that in a couple of minutes. You can go from Pittsburgh, PA, to uh, Texas. The same thing. Right. They have. It, but if people found out that they, you know, potentially there were high speed uh, systems on the earth. Right. They, they would say, well, why are we still in the air flying planes? I, I hopefully people didn't believe that they're really going to rely on aircraft. If something is going to happen to the surface of the earth, they believe in the biblical narrative because they've seen a lot of the proof. They know what's coming. They study space. They study the oceans and every single event in the Bible. Is starting now. The oceans are superheated yes. right now. Right, right. A, superheated. Matter of fact, the Atlantic Ocean uh, is a two to three degrees warmer than it's ever been in history at this time of year, and we're starting to see these tropical storms, like Tropical Storm Brett. There's one coming right behind it. It's going to probably become tr Tropical Storm or maybe even Hurricane Cindy. And 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 they're saying this, Mike. That. Two to three degrees? That's enormous. Can you, Pastor Reed, how's that is, happening? Well, Pastor, we covered this. Didn't we cover this about a couple of months ago? Wasn't it a, um, a month ago? You said it was going to happen. You did say it was going to heat up the oceans. So we have the highest uh, temperatures being recorded now ever, right? We have a yep. lot of volcanism yep. happening underneath the ocean, right? Yep. And, and, for example, in the Gulf. Why do we keep having these out-of-control fires starting Right. I told everybody about the, the burning uh, holes that were in uh, the Gulf where gas had just erupted and exploded. Magma has been recorded in. Uh, well, I can't tell you where, but let's just say it's in seven states. Magma what? has been seen in wait, seven wait, states wait, wait, where it should wait, not wait. be. Seven bubbling magma. Yes. Bubbling magma. It's drying out certain ponds. It is, it, you know, it's, it's breaching. It's starting to come up. And, uh, so summer's not here yet, and the fires have already begun. Whether whether a person did a pre-burn and it got out of control, or if we just have land, I, 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 I'm inclined to believe that we have conditions of the uh, surface, the lands, that are being breached uh, sporadically by magma, and uh, they're going to have fire problems. That with atmospheric issues. Uh, we have a low-pressure system. That's been over what? It's been over... Um, West Virginia, um, and those states, West Virginia, uh, parts of Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, I believe, for the last, what, five days? But, what, a low-pressure system, a stalled low-pressure system, right? We have two highs forming. We have a terrible event forming. Uh, next week is the week. Remember I said two weeks. Yep. And we're going to have a, we have storm patterns forming that are going to cause, and we talked about hail. Well, yep. people haven't seen hail yet. Hail is just beginning because wind speeds are not at their highest uh, potential sustained speeds yet. Not yet. We're not there yet. That'll happen in a couple of months. Well, we've and been then we'll have high winds. Well, okay. Now we have. We had tornadoes again in Texas last night. Four people were killed. Um, and large hail. There was hail almost the size of softball. Uh, in Texas, hurricane force straight line winds tearing through West Texas, and it seems like it's every afternoon or evening that we wake up in the morning and another town somewhere in either Texas or Oklahoma or Louisiana or uh, you know uh, has been hit with a tornado or straight line winds, and so the hail is getting bigger. But you're saying you haven't even seen it yet. You don't even know how big it's going to get. The Bible says. Right. The weight of a talent, which is about 75 pounds, I mean, eventually that's coming. But you're saying, we're, are we going to see big, big hail this year? Yeah, we're going to see it. We're not there yet because as the uh, as summer nears, right, we, we had the first day of summer the other day. So as summer gets here, it really settles in. We're going to have temperature shears. Temperature shears form high winds. When those low and high pressure systems get close together in the middle, you have isobars. That's how tightly packed the high and low pressure uh, flows are. You're, we're going to have some super high winds. Well, of course, an updraft keeps dust aloft, keeps water vapor aloft, and then it builds up. The higher the wind speed, the more uh, uh, the more um, the heavier 
the ice can stay aloft until it overwhelms the airflow and then it falls to the ground as hail. Well, even to get a talent, uh, 75 pounds, that's only 209 miles an hour. That's it. So if we have sustained winds at any given time of 209 miles an hour, we're going to have 75 pound hail. That's not going to be good. And at the rate we're going, we're going to have that uh, straight line winds of 190, uh, 201. We're going to see those no! wind speeds this year, this summer. We'll see those wind speeds. Thunderstorms will, will increase probably, I'll say, 70 percent greater than what they are now. So we're still in this buildup over the years to get to this point where it's going to be um, very difficult, right? But people will be frightened of the weather. They're going to be frightened. They're going to see that forecast and see potential thunderstorms, and it's going to scare people to pieces because they're about to incur damage. Remember at the beginning of the year, I said this year, we're going to see death from these weather systems. Yeah, you did. We're going to see a lot of damage. And so we've had a lot of infrastructure damage uh, from water, trees which have roots saturated highways are giving out all sorts of things are happening and it's just building up we have a heat anomaly in the gulf that won't go away a heat anomaly in the southern pacific that won't go away a heat anomaly in the atlantic we have heat anomalies in the southern hemisphere of the earth by the way that big iceberg the big uh, ice sheet that's about to break off it's yeah. in the part where the ocean has a heat anomaly. And so now the melt is disturbing just about everybody. And they have to set up a contingency in South America for that because they know it's about to break off, but, but they don't quite know how to handle it. They thought they'd have more time. They don't have more time. And so unfortunately we're gonna be hit with, uh, you know, things will happen. We're gonna inch closer to a water event. And ironically, after all the rain and the water that everybody sees because all of us are about to get really wet, the water's going to stop. It'll stop. Some of the forces and interactions from this binary system have been recorded in other systems. And everything here on Earth and in our solar system is happening just like it happens in these other systems. So they know what to expect, right? And it does line up with the Bible. Piece by piece by piece it lines up. And so uh, they know what to expect, past Paul. So they're going to do everything they can to prepare for it. And one of the rules in preparation is never let the populace know that you're preparing because they will interfere with those preparations. They'll slow it down, get everything off, you know, everything will be off, off balance a bit. So they want to keep the populace uh, tied up with events, right? They want to do their little uh, Illuminati thing, I guess you could say. Well, yeah. uh, for example, a couple of weeks ago, right? I gave you a hint. I said, we'd have, uh, uh, we're going to be talking about the ocean. You remember that? Yes. Well, it, it, we were talking about the ocean the last couple of days, correct? Yes. There'd be yes. a scare on the on the ocean. You remember that? It'd be yes, a scare on the ocean. Yes. So there you are. That means, you know, these people plan out things, right? And uh, they do it every single time. And, and just in case anybody's asking, why would they let you know something's going to happen before it happens? Well, because if we don't do anything about it, if we don't pray against it, if we don't, uh, you know, act against it, then we're complicit with it. And these dark forces can't do anything unless we are complicit or agree with them. They can't do anything unless we agree. Well, how do, how do they get us to agree with something? They let us know something is soon to happen or could potentially happen. And if we don't pray, well, you, there it is. But if we start praying, they have no right to do that, right? So through inaction, we're actually complicit with anything that does happen. Throwing caution to the wind is to agree with anything. Let's talk That's about... That's what they do. Let's talk about the water event. I want to also ask you about that submarine that, exp that imploded down by the Titanic, but you have five billionaires, or at least, at least three billionaires on there. Um, but, but let's talk about the water event. I mean, during our webinar, you, you brought out some very big points about this. And, you've, and you said that this water event is going to happen soon. That yes. The, yep. And it's because the ice, the, the gl glaciers or the, or the ice sheet is going to That'd break off. It, yeah. yep. And that's because the magma is heating up underneath the, uh, the ice. Yes, sir. House, I mean, this water event, you know it's coming. They know 
Planet X, they know that this binary system's coming. They're preparing. Yes. They've been preparing for years and years. They also know when it's coming or pretty, pretty close. Yes. Yeah, so is the water event tied to all of that? Is that all? Is that sure it is. It's permanent. Oh, yes. They better prepare for so it. So tell the um, people what the water event, tell them tonight what you're expecting to happen and when you think it's going to. When you have in the south, <clears throat> when, the, when the continents in the South Pole, when that starts to shift, it'll shift because it's being melted away from the ocean floor up, right? Yeah. So all those giant land masses are, in fact, there's a big iceberg. Um, and there's a big ice sheet up there. So it's, it's being, it, it looks like this, it looks like, now it looks like a, a, a popsicle stick holding up a car. That's what it looks like, right? Uh, a couple of years ago, it, it looked normal. It did. But now it looks like a popsicle stick is holding up a car. Well, as, as the um, oceans continue to heat and as currents continue to flow, this popsicle stick is going to get thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until it's going to hit the point where it won't sustain all that ice anymore and it will drop. And when it drops, it's going to dislodge the ocean water like we've never seen it before. So without an earthquake, Without uh, any of these uh, comet falling or anything else, the water will rapidly rise all over the earth, all over the earth. This will be a global event. And right now, you know, doing the uh, mathematics and metrics, it only takes a portion of the one that's about to fall. It takes a portion of it to raise the um, ocean uh, levels, eight inches, eight inches to three feet, right? All over the earth. That's a lot of water. Yeah, that's, that's a, a lot problem. of water. A, yeah. <clears throat> and so right now, as it looks right now, it may break off into three or four different pieces. But if it breaks off, if one little piece breaks off past ball, it's going to be a chain of events. It'll start. Maybe, maybe the world will have a warning. We'll see a report one day of a large piece of ice breaking off, right, in the South Pole. And if you see that, then you know what's next. That'll give people time to prepare places like Italy because they have a lot of coastal cities there, right? Yeah. Uh, Florida, same thing in Florida, same thing in um, uh, different parts of uh, South Carolina and, 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 and North Carolina. You know, those places are going to have to prepare for that. Like California, they'll have to do the same thing. They won't escape Japan. They'll have to do the same thing. Parts of China, uh, Australia, they'll have to prepare for this. It will happen. It'll go around like a wave right around the globe. But it will also offset the equator rise of water, that 300 uh, foot high lip of water is going to be disturbed. And when that's disturbed, here's what happens. That water is hot, by the way. When it's dislodged, it's going to increase the current flow in the oceans about five times greater than what they are. But what? With hot water. Right. You're talking about hot water going all over the ocean in very new types of currents that will super melt the ice. If you stir, if you put a piece of ice in a cup, right, with water and just let it sit there, it'll take a certain amount of time to, to melt. If you stir it, it's going to cut that time in half. So when water is moving, right, ice melts faster, much faster. So, so, so with moving, that moving water creates a chemical reaction to the ice, uh, causing it. Well, you're looking, well, you're looking at friction. Yeah. Think about it, friction, yeah. right? Yeah. And you're, look, you're also looking at ice. When it melts, it makes the area around it cold. Moving water removes that cold, brings warm water back to I it. See. And so you have, you have twice that uh, rapid melting that takes yeah. place. Yeah. Yep. And so that's what we're going to see in the oceans. If this happens, uh, it's going to eventually hit more of those ice sheets, right? So, so, we're cascades, see, we're see so we, we start to have this cascading event. Once yes. the big ice sheet falls and the, and the oceans, and you, I think you said it could go as high as eight feet um, uh, <laughs> around the world, uh, ocean raising eight feet is insane. And it would, you say it, it would happen rapidly. In other words, it would really start to yes. come and it would just yes. work its way around the whole world. Uh, yes. and, and there'd be catastrophic events. I mean, flooding, like, and just people That's can't right. scramble out of the way. I mean, uh, this is unbelievable. And then, and then that's going to cause more f cascading, more falling ice, more melting ice, more water right. rising. Um, 
And they right. know this yeah. is coming. They, they know. Yeah, they do. Now, sometimes, first of all, a lot of people say, well, God said he will not destroy the earth by water again. That's right. He won't destroy, he won't destroy it, it by no. water again. This is not destroying the earth. But, but all these coastal cities, they're going to have an interruption by way of water. In fact, it'll go inland uh, as much as it can. Right. That will be the beginning. Of, of a, um, you know, that's one of those events that has happened a few times before. Uh, we just happen to put civilization uh, in a time where all these things are happening at one time. But the process has already begun. This is not an if. It's not an if. This is a when. It, it, scientists will tell you this is not an if. This is a, a, a real issue, right? It's really happening. But you can't warn the entire world no. about this. You can't do that. No. Right? You can't just tell people to get up and move in governments. They're not going to, they're trying to protect themselves. No. Right? They're trying to protect their families. Uh, they don't have, they can't pay everybody to go buy a new real estate somewhere else. That would make all countries dysfunctional. And so guess what, Paul? Just be, just be honest with you. Whenever something like this happens on a large scale, the, the best move to make is if you, if you can't um, capture the timing of an event, right? You have to have war or something like that. Right to start to uh, kind of get people in a place where they can be maneuvered. You have to, right? Or now they see it as an act of mercy. This this has a sickle mindset, but that's the way they see it as an act of mercy. If we went to war and and countries were dislodged or countries were upset financially ruined, they could then maneuver people in places they need them to be away from. They don't want to kill everybody on earth. So people should take that out of their minds. Uh, if you kill everybody on earth, you have no maids to clean up the house. No, you have right? nothing. Right, right. You so they that. don't want to do that. Right. Um, but, but they can't warn everybody. So they have an alternative for that. Now, people have seen that Georgia guy stones are gone. Right? They're gone. Yeah. And, and that, was a, that was a tracker, so to speak, is what that was. Um, we do see, you know, they have reports coming out. Are you oh, saying that reports. Georgia Guidestones being blown up was was a uh, was sent a message, sent a a clue, or, or, or did it start a, um, you know, did it trigger? Oh, yeah, that that's a message. A message. That's a message. Okay. Okay. Passable. Yeah, because it tracked where the sun would rise and set. It tracked what the moon phases were. It tracked the North Star, and the day that these elements. But no, could no longer be tracked by concrete, you know, that concrete slab, because you're talking about something that's not adjustable. In order for the sun not to align with it anymore means the earth had a shift. In order for the moon not to align with it means the earth had a shift. And it did not align. It didn't align, and so they blew it up. Because wow. it did not align. It didn't align anymore. Right. You can't have people going out there saying, well, done the line. So that's what it was for. That's actually what the Georgia Guidestones was for. And the message was when, when there's no Georgia Guidestones, because it said what it said. Right. It's time. It's time. It, for example, I know this is this seems like conspiracy. Right. Three days ago. They said they heard noises from that submarine, right? Right, they said that, yes, yes. Okay, that was three days ago. Uh, they continue to get the hopes up of the public. So they, they wouldn't say, yes, we confirm that this thing imploded. Here's the problem with that. If you're in a submarine and you're at war, you, you can't make a bunch of noise. You know why? People can hear you talking in right. enemy subs, right. correct? They can hear you talking, moving around, doing all that stuff. So you mean to tell me, a sub implodes, and they already have the digital sound mark of what it, the sound graph of what it sounds like. You're telling me they couldn't figure that out? They knew. They knew him instantly. Right? Yeah, they knew. And then, on top of that, uh, you get all these people out there searching. But then, if people who know their equipment, when they start talking about the equipment they were using, it didn't match uh, the procedures of any specific searches you would do anyway. So you have these, and then the uh, roster, not the passengers, but the roster of the sub. And I use roster for a reason. And if you look up the word roster, you'll see why. But I use that word roster for the people on that sub because one of them went to the Arctic three times. Yeah. Uh, one of them one runs was... SETI, right? One of them was for directly responsible for SETI. SETI. 
search for extraterrestrial, you know, all that stuff. Right. Um, one of the other guys was instrumental dealing with AI, well, two of them with AI. And you know what? A long time ago, somebody told me something a long time ago. And they said, uh, you know, a time will come when select people will have to be protected because of their intellectual value. And uh, the only way to protect these people is to fake a death or commit suicide or something like that where nobody can Whoa. recover the body or identify the body, right? Right. So four days or three days ago when this thing happened, I quoted this. I said, well, you know, it's probably already happened and they're not going to be able to recover the bodies. Right. But to satisfy the public, you have to allow the public time to process the loss. Right. If you if you say we confirm it imploded right away, then the public is outraged. But they have learned that if you if you delay it, right, if you delay it, yeah, everybody goes hope. through their time of theories and everything else. And then finally, they lose strength in hoping that they're alive and they settle that, OK, they're gone. They can't be alive. So when you let the populace determine that they're gone instead of somebody out, you know, saying they're gone, uh, you give them time to. Uh, com uh, decompress you give them time to grieve right yeah. and so when you can't identify bodies and nobody actually v videotaped those who were going on the sub you don't know who got on there well let me ask you, you a question okay so let's talk about this we had the we have the what three of these guys were billionaires okay uh the other two weren't hurting all right so the, but as you said one guy was involved in ai development one was involved yeah. in Alien research. Yep. One guy went three times to Antarctica. They yep. all were big players, okay? Yep. Now, remember the uh, MH370, uh, the Malaysia, okay? Yep. There were 18 people on that plane who were, were, partial, were part of microchip uh, patents. Semiconductor manufacturing, yep. Yeah, yep. And, and so and we never found their bodies. We, never know, we don't know where they're at. We never no. found it. We never find these guys. Is it possible, Mike, that the, that the uh, plane didn't actually crash but was landed, people were taken off, folks, some folks were eliminated, others were preserved and saved because of the knowledge they had, maybe they've been eliminated? It's possible. It's it, very, I don't, I don't, you know, it's possible because people don't really understand how evil people are, right? If right. We a, if we had a real discussion with, and I could point people to uh, videos Right. With a URL, they, their jaw would drop because they would find out what their favorite people are actually involved in. That's what they would find yeah, out. Yeah, I would stun they, them. I, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't cover underground bases. I wouldn't cover, you know, secret society stuff. So I would just let them see the video and yeah. it would not compute in their heads what these guys well, you are know, doing you know, because they believe in Satan. They believe in Satan. Amen. You know, that period. Heidi said to me yesterday, she said, Paul, 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 they're saying they can't see this submarine or they don't know if it imploded or whatever she said my friend world told you that there's no place on the planet that they can't they can see the pin, the top of a pinhead anywhere right. in the world you're telling me they That's don't right. know where this thing is that they don't she said trust me trust me there's a bigger story here and i'm starting to wonder that who was on the uh, yeah and i didn't know that one guy was tied to ai one guy was tied to AI. ironic in it well, Isn't that ironic? That's, it's, it's, it, listen, you can't make this stuff up. No. And the same submarine, right, the same company, had gone to the Titanic at least 20 plus times. Yeah, but so why time, now? this time, when they carried the billionaires, it, it just implodes. Yeah, it's gone. Really? That, that, come on. That, that, come on. Really? Yeah, that, that, okay. That, and plus, image, we, we spend trillions of dollars to make stealth technology. But with MH370, we found out what? That you don't need stealth technology. You just turn off the transponder. That's all you have to do. And nobody can find you, right? Because they said they couldn't find the plane. Yeah. So you don't have to have radar. Any, they couldn't see it on radar or anything else. They lost it. So you just turn the transponder that. off and you have instant stealth. I don't are you believe kidding that. me? I don't believe that, do you? Are you I mean, kidding me? Are you that, serious? That just, that's an are you serious moment. That's right. Yeah. They Forget did. Lockheed and all these guys. Just yeah, turn yeah. your transponder <laughs> off and you have instant stealth. If that's the case, then we can put any plane we want in the air and nobody can see it. Nobody can track it. There's no radar that can find it. I mean, it's, a, it's, right. it's a joke. You know they know exactly where this is. That's right. 37. And, that's right. and uh, I've always believed that uh, this thing was taken over, hijacked 
brought down, put on a little island somewhere, uh, runway, people were taken off, some were eliminated, some were interrogated, information was acquired from this, then they just wiped them out, it's over, I just, I just, I'll, I'll never ever, it has to be, and your point is, turn the transponder off and now we can't find the plane? It's, right. we got satellites right. in the sky that can see every inch right. of this planet, are you right. serious? And okay. we have balloons with satellites hanging off the bottom, just like China. I know. Uh, almost identical. And uh, anyway, but, you know, people just, they, it, for some reason, they believe what they see. Um, in this case, it requires discernment, right? Yeah. Not another news story, but discernment. Amen. And for some reason, some people, uh, they'll, sooner or later, they'll see. It's kind of like that, the aliens land in somebody's backyard. Right. Right. Uh, pretty. By the way, some of those people have radiation poisoning. What? Uh, my heart goes out to them. Yeah. Some of those people are in, they're in let's, bad shape now. Wait a minute. So they're let's talk shape. about this. You, you talked about this last Friday night when we were in Hawaii in that webinar. Folks, we'll just give you a little piece of what Mike said. If you haven't got the, your ticket, you need to go get it and hear all of the four different times Mike spoke in this webinar. But you said that in that Las Vegas deal, they saw two creatures they were yeah. about nine foot tall, one hiding behind a tractor. You said this was not on one video, but it was on several different cameras right. and like right. 23 or 28 or something eyewitnesses. That's right. Are you saying now some of these people have already gotten ra radiation poisoning from this? Yeah, some of the, some of the neighbors that were yeah. right next to that house, they have radiation uh, sickness. They sure do. They're ready. That's something very common with these uh, sightings, right? Which is why it's good to stay away from them. And, and by the way, all of those things fled. That, that family went inside and prayed in the name of Jesus and they could hear, they could hear stuff around them screaming and hollering, right? What? No, no, no intelligent being is gonna flee at the name of Jesus, right? They're not, they're not gonna do that. But in those videos, you can see it, you can see it, you can. And it's not, listen, if they're if if that happened, Mike. But you're saying did, you, what video? I mean, you're seeing videos that we're not seeing. Is that what you're saying? It, well, even in the video, right? Even in the video that uh, I think one video that people saw was it shows them walking in the backyard yeah. by the fence, right? Yeah, I saw by that. the fence. Okay, okay. Look at the fence on the right, but at the bottom of the fence, and then you're going to see movement. Once you see movement, rewind it, look at it again, you're going to see fingers go up the fence with a big eyeball that will go up the fence with half the profile of a face. You'll begin to pick out that figure, which is huge because the head of that thing has to be three and a half feet tall, right? The head of it, just, just the head. Just the uh, head? You'll see it by the fence, yeah. You'll see it by the fence. So these folks, uh, if, if that's happening, you got to realize that's a manifestation. That does not happen by accident. Right? That's not some accidental thing. And it no. doesn't happen that no, way. No, that's right. These things have to have permission. And if they have permission, listen, if you give one, if, a, if one demon has permission to manifest, right, that permission went out to a lot of them, not just one, right? Normally they travel in packs. Normally they travel in a legion. Yeah, it's that's true. That's one. true. Yeah. So if you give one permission, expect more of these incidences. And, and they're going to keep happening like this. And people are going to be devastated. They're going to, and, and then before you know it, the populace is going to change their own minds about these things, right? But all of it's going to be part of a, part of a, a very deceitful thing, very seductive thing, very seductive. Wow. Folks, you're listening to Mike from around the world tonight. We're, we're really digging into some big stuff here. Uh, somebody was, uh, look, we're talking about whether or not that submarine that imploded did, were there really five billionaires on board or were they replaced with others and, and those guys are already tucked away, hidden away for the, for the coming apocalypse? Or, um, you know, or did somebody want somebody dead? Uh, then you got you have to wonder about the Malaysia plane. We could come on, come on. And now we've got this. And matter of fact, there was a police officer in Vegas who said he saw something fall out of the sky. Okay. Yeah. One yeah. of the officers said that. And, uh, and there's too many eyewitnesses and there was too many people. Yep. This was a major event. And now you're telling me radiation poison. I don't know if yep. the media, do you think the government's going to cover this up a little bit and hush this up? Or? Well, 
I, they have, I tell you what, that they can't get in contact with the family. And they were questioned by, they were harassed, uh, questioned. They have, people are scared to talk about it now, right? Yeah. I don't think, I believe all of that is purposeful, right? These guys are great actors. They're great actors. And if, if people don't believe in the acting, how can I say something two weeks ago, right, that we're going to be talking about the ocean? Yeah. A scare in the ocean and then blah, blah, right? Uh, or, 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 you know, two sunsets in Vegas may happen again. Who can make a statement like that? That's that stuff is just, you know, who, who, what? Anyway, these guys, they're evil people. They're pre-planning. You're saying they're there's evil. a plan. There's plans in play. Oh, and, yeah, they have plans. Yeah, and and they, people are doing, past Paul will tell you this, people are doing just what they are supposed to be doing. They're yeah. doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Um, these guys, I think of it soberly, these guys, the internet goes through a few computers that are filters before it goes out to anybody else. There's, there's no such thing as a leak. No such thing. I can tell you that right now. There's no such thing. It's all deliberately released? There you go. Well, it's called counterintelligence. And they're, they do this with the public a lot. They, the Mossad does it. A lot of people do it. CIA does it. They do it all the time. But they do this. Because they, if I want somebody to believe in something, all I have to do is is uh, come up with a character that does not believe it, right? And then have this guy out there in the public about what he does not believe and then leak a paper that supports the first belief. And people naturally are suspect of officials, so they would believe a leak over the officials, right? That means people are being convinced by proof. But for all those who believe in Christ, God gave you discernment. You don't need the proof. You just need to search your soul and ask the Lord what is real and what is not. He'll let you know. Because anybody can, if you're going by proof, they can manufacture proof these days, right? People have seen newscasts that were AI and no one reported it. It happened again, right? People are reporting this. They're not even real people. These are computer constructs. And people have listened to these computer constructs like they were real people and they didn't say a word. Wow. Wow. Mike, so, quickly, quickly, yeah. quickly, we have to talk about toxic algae killing hundreds of dolphins and sea lions in California. Um, is this part of the oceans heating up? I mean, are we going to see a lot more of this kind of event? Well, it's not summer yet, so more of that's coming. You know, that comes to this red algae. Uh, it begins to really populate when the temperatures get warmer in certain areas. Right, and, right. Uh, is is killing a lot of life. So expect that. Expect more deep sea creatures that we've never seen before come to the surface. Very exotic species of um, things, right? Big species. Expect big species to come closer to the shore. What do you mean? And start messing with uh, life. Great, uh, well, big species. Great. Well, for example, Whales? in last year, yeah. in last year, they have identified seventeen more species of shark. They've identified, uh, as, as far as the ocean is concerned, I mean, what is it, uh, 110 species of fish that they never thought uh, you know, they'd see again. They've also identified uh, large species of, of sea snakes, some of them up to, uh, I believe they said 35 feet long. What? They just, no they way. just My, got in contact no, with another no, big no, squid, no, 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 right, no. a squid. 35 feet long. I mean, yes, I, I, 35 I, feet. Well, kind of like in Florida, right? There's a species of snake that's in Florida. Remember, we talked about this before. They said that the manatees were starving. Yeah. Everybody should remember that. that was only I remember that. That was six that. months ago. You said that They six ran into ago. those giant, uh, there were some giant things. There were there were a few, the Coast Guard saw it. A couple of people saw it. And they were yeah, wrapping the around manatees. the manatees and eating them. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I said, people, well, just all you have to do is they're going to start coming out with these excuses as to why the manatees are dying. And they said they were starving to death. That's not true because, well, people, they, all they have to do is look. They, they've seen so many big species come out. They're being driven out from different places in the earth, deep in the ocean. Expect a lot more. A lot more. And that's because of the magma rising in the ocean floor. It's driving these big deep sea creatures. Monster. You're, you're talking about monsters. 35 feet. 35 feet eating manatees. That's not a that's you know that's not some little water snake. That's that's serious issue. We're talking about well, that's bigger one, than an anaconda. I mean that's the huge. one they recorded. The one they recorded had the had the girth of about three telephone poles. 
Just they're they're black on the top, white on the bottom. No, that's how they look. They could eat a yeah. man. They could eat people. That thing. She, well, it, it put a manatee in its mouth. Fastball. The whole manatee in its. It put the manatee in its mouth and it curled around him. Right. It was twice the size of a boat. And it was right there in Florida, right? In in not deep water either. This was shallow water where manatees are. So yeah, I know where they are. You know, I know right where they that. are, and and I don't live far from. I mean, you know, not very far from there. I mean, so I, I'm, I'm going to ask you this then: Are we talking about Leviathan? I mean, are we are we talk about the demons of the sea starting to come up, just like the demons of the the what underground, if they landed? the demons of the underground, the, the Nephilim or the, or the fallen angels. I mean, are they all coming you- up? Funny you would say that. They're, 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 you know, people are going to learn. They're going to be educated a lot. This UFO disclosure thing is is essentially going to introduce them into a the structure of part of the demonic world. And while you know, even if a person does not want to hear it, their children are going to hear it. That's one of the sad things. If a parent is not educated, they need to understand that their children are going to be educated by the world. Yeah, right? you're which right. Which means their children could think these things are nice. That these things are the way to go, and if it's a, it's a good time for people to wake up to realize uh, that Christianity is not some mythical thing; it's a real thing. And if people aren't rooted in Christ, they're going to be lost forever. Right? There's yeah. there's no in between. These things that are coming, they they're it's different now, Pastor Paul. It's different. The world accepts what they're saying. The world, uh, m- most of the populace of the USA and of the world, they believe in UFOs, and they believe that the UFOs created humanity. They believe that the occupants of the UFOs created humanity. That's crazy. Uh, I know. I they, know. They believe it. I they, know. It's, it's sad. They believe it. But this is the world we live in right now. And so you know these this this subject is going to take a turn because the abductees are coming forward, right? The abductees are going to get paid. We're going to uh, our financial. It, well, everything is changing. It's just changing. The system is changing, right? Uh, all this stuff is changing, and people are going to be essentially indoctrinated. Well, let's talk, let's, let me standing. throw this out there. Here's what has happened. The, okay, when you have to get away from God's plan and the creation, the first thing they did was create Darwinism. Man evolved from an ape or a monkey or something, uh, yep. and it, there was evolution. It's called evolution. Yep. Then, after they saw that, was after a while, they changed that. It's natural selection. In natural selection, everything that we have today is based on natural selection, or yep. you know. And then we went to this: we uh, we are the children of the extraterrestrial. They seeded us here, and that's to say there is no God. All three of these theories are bogus lies yeah, against the creation and against God yeah. Himself. I mean. It's demons. These these are demons that we're encountering. People are encountering these things too. I mean, you know, I believe this that when they say they've been abducted, yeah, they, they are being they're encountering demonic forces that are violating them and, and and putting them in a trance or whatever they're in. They're in demonic situations. They're physically being uh, violated, but it's not. Little green men from Mars. It's 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 it is the demons of hell. Yeah, these are these things are ancient. Um, they have they have a lot of them have been around. Uh, the some of the ocean kingdoms are going to start coming forward. People are going to find out quite a few things. It's, it's, you know, and when the more proof is shown, the more we can talk about this subject because. I know for, you know, a lot of people are going to be frightened by this. If, if a person thinks they're going to be normal, they forget it, right? They forget it. it your body's going to have this natural repulsion to them, natural repulsion. Yet a lot of people will turn that into reverence. Hopefully nobody, you know, nobody does that. But past all, there's so many distractions out there, right? Yeah. I often pray for all these non-subjects to go away because they have people talking about subjects they want them to talk about but in truth what's happening is that people are becoming complicit with demonic activity yeah they really are they're still going to church but this demonic activity is getting to them because they're doing things at home that they shouldn't be doing and what they think nobody can see them these demons they know people they know the absolutes of people they know who they're approaching they know everything about us. And it's not that they can read our minds. 
we let them know everything because we run our mouths too much. We mumble to ourselves. We complain all the time. They don't have to read anything because we tell them everything. But the, the, they're going to build up number. They're going to keep coming. This process is going to keep happening. And if you're here alive today, you, you shouldn't fear it. But you should anchor yourself in Christ and not be removed. In other words, you know how sometimes people can, they get bad spots in their relationship with Christ. That's where their mind should be. That's where their mind should be with yeah. Christ. They yeah. should really be solid in their faith and do everything to get solid in their faith and have that solid relationship. These demonic entities can never overstep the power of Christ. Amen. They flee at the name of Jesus. Amen. So uh, a real Christian has nothing to worry about. But we're going to see that escalation. It's going to mess with people's family members and everything else. But if we stay strong, right, we can be a pillar for somebody else. We really can. Yeah. Uh, and, and this kingdom of the beast, it's in, it's in full measure. And it's in full force, Pastor Paul. It's They're moving. pushing this system forward. They're pushing it forward. The Bible says, be ye not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you have to not allow the world or the propaganda or even the disclosure of things uh, to overtake your faith in Christ. And we have to be rooted and grounded in the word. And that's what I'm hearing you say, Amen. that we have to have more of God than of the world. We have to, we, we have to inundate ourselves with God's uh, promises, his precious promises to us, not to live in fear, but to live in faith. And I'm hearing you say that this is just the, this disclosure. I hear you say it. The more they disclose, the more we can disclose the truth. We can, because if oh, we yeah. come out and tell people flat out, they're going to turn us off because they'll say, oh, you know, you guys never do look. You're, no, you're closed-minded. You don't ever look at anything. I think we're pretty open-minded here this, on this ministry. And, and Mike, every time you come on here, we're very open-minded to let people gradually grasp yeah. the reality. But I'm hearing you say a couple things. Number one, Planet X, this binary system's coming, and it's going to shake the world up. Number two, so is this disclosure of the demonic forces of hell we're going to see more of them crawling out of the earth and more of them flying out of the sky wherever they all call, come from we are moving into this next phase of the last days would you agree and the beast kingdom you're saying yeah, paul yeah. it's it's not just coming it's already here is that true oh, yeah yeah, yeah they have a lot of things in position past all some of the policies there are more policies passed the last three days, uh, three or four days, um, no, it, they really didn't discuss them with anybody. But, uh, you know, people should expect massive changes. Now, we, you know, we talked about it before, but uh, I don't think a lot of people are ready for that. They're not going to understand it because right now they think that somehow uh, they're going to be at a loss somehow, right? All I can tell people is this, is that, they, you know, this system is coming. Technology is a big part of it, but so is some of the more spookier technology. That's going to be a big part of it. But the change is not in the future. Uh, stores have been notified. Places have been notified. Retrofits have, are being shipped out all over the place. And it's, it's you know, this is happening well, at breakneck uh, speeds. That's a question. I found out last night we were doing on our Getting Ready show with Pastor Melvin at FFC TV. And that was this, that the Walmart children... The Walton children, who have inherited about $20 billion or $30 billion from Walmart, they are selling, they have been yes, selling tons of yeah. their stock. All yeah. of them are. Why are they doing that? What do they know we don't know? What's coming? Because the way business, the way business is run right now, basically it was free enterprise, you know, it's free. Nothing was uh, highly regulated. Everything is going to be put through a central system and this central system right it will know every well it knows everything already right one of the one of the systems that has reached this is going to sound strange right i know past Paul, you said that uh, people think we don't have an open mind so don't think my mind has opened so much that my brain slowed out but one <laughs> no. of the systems one of the systems has become sentient it has become sentient period it's becomes and it happens to be the system that it now that many things will be filtered in through, right? So they kept it. If something became sentient and it was, uh, you know, had errors, they would have gotten rid of it. That's not what they yeah. did. This thing has an identity. Uh, people can talk to it right now, but I wouldn't recommend it. And um, 
But anyway, everything is going to flow through this system. Now, Walmart is fully conformed with this. In fact, uh, pretty soon, because it's one of the bigger stores, and it is, uh, Walmart is, it, it is um, logistics of the military, right? Uh, they use the Walmart system. Walmart has one of the most complicated inventory systems on planet Earth. And everybody right now utilizes the Walmart algorithm for their own inventory. Right. So it has a hot swap capability, meaning it could quickly be transformed for processing center for military usage. Uh, all Walmarts are going to be retrofitted. That's going to happen fairly quickly. Not one person will work a cash register at, at these Walmarts. It's not going to happen all at once in every place, you know, not all at once. Right. Right. But, you know, give it a month and they'll all be in place. So it won't happen today, you know, or, or all tomorrow. But people will have to have a, uh, a QR code to go into the store. Um, and every item you pick up is going to be attributed to that QR code. And then, of course, you don't pay anybody. It just takes it out of your account. That means the stores are going to be changed so that there's no person in right. between, you know, going in the store, paying for things, coming out. You'll have to bear, you have to have that QR code on your cell phone, Right. Um, also, Passport, well, if that changes, they have to have the other system set up for that, too. So banks are now prepping for that, right? Policies in banks are changing, and people would read their policies with their banks. They know a huge change is coming. I got up, it. Right? I got it. So you're saying the QR code, you become the cash register. So in other words, I walk into Walmart, and I, and I, and I say I want to get a box of Tide. I pull that, put it in my cart, and I take my phone. And I scan the QR code, it immediately deducts it from my bank account. Well, yeah, kind of like that, but check this out. You got to pull your phone out first, or you can't even go into the store. Oh, you yeah, I can't, even get, I can't even get That's entrance. Right. I can't get entrance without once the... You get the. Once you get the QR code, you're body marked. You can put your phone in your pocket. You can go got shopping. It. You don't have to show your phone again. Oh, and you they just know pick exactly up stuff and put it in, and they just start they deducting. Know. That's right. They know exactly who you are. You can put your cell phone up and yeah. everything else. They know exactly yeah. who you are. Wow. They've got you body tags. Wow. And so when you when you just walk out the front door, you only show that QR code to get into the store. You don't have to show anything. To get so, out but the what if you don't have the QR code? You don't get you, the body. You don't get in the store. Okay. Nope. And I you wonder what it, I wonder store. what it's going to cost me to get the QR code. And I'm not talking. Oh, money. that's zero. That's zero. Oh no. Zero. It's going to cost me something. But. Uh, it might but, cost me my soul. I don't know. I mean, well, what, here's what the deal. Okay. Here's what they're going to do. You know, they're going to do this when when you when you after this QR code is in place and everybody's used to it. That's only going to take a couple months when everybody's used to it, right? Then they're going to say, "Well, hey guys, if you want to keep this, you've got to agree to this." That's what they're going to do. They yep. got everybody used to using right. Yep. Uh, to using a credit card anyway. That was one of the steps. They got everybody used to using a cell phone. That was one of the steps. So they had to get everybody indoctrinated into the digital realm in the first place. Now they're going to get everybody comfortable with utilizing a one-pay system. By the way, um, uh, FedNow goes live uh, in, in, what, a couple of weeks? What couple is weeks. it? Fed so what? FedNow. That goes live in a couple of weeks. FedNow? Fed now. He goes live in a couple of weeks. What is that? And that means all transactions will go through Fed now. All of them. Every single last one of them. And so what we have is a control system being quick, quickly put in place. Oh, also a general, a general uh, allowance for everybody huh? is going to be given out to. That's coming to. Oh, that's, right? that's oh, socialism. Way, you're, socialism. You won't even need your driver's license anymore because that's going to be on your cell phone. The pilot program worked. Right. Uh, as soon as Australia is done with this, it's going all over the world. And so everything will be on your cell phone. And you know what's going to happen with that? Once everything is on your cell phone, once people are used to it, and they say, oh, it isn't too bad. It's going to have its flaws here and there. But then, you know, they're going to say, well, if you guys want to keep this, you have to agree to this. Right. Because they have something called a world system. It's actually called a world system. Um, it has a name in the middle. But it's actually in effect now. They have their own charter. They have their own um, uh, to be a citizen. They have a procedure already. Already. It's coming quick. This stuff is coming quick. And it's not, you know, this isn't uh, uh, rambling. This is something everybody's going to have to eventually face fairly quickly. And, uh, you know, this stuff is coming. Now, here's one of the keys. People are going to have their money. But 
product is going to be controlled because they have a carbon tax on every single person, right? That goes right. into effect in July. That in July, I thought it'd be later, you know, but that goes into effect in July. In other words, if you are consuming too much food, you're going to be charged more for your carbon tax because you're putting out too much, you know, stuff. So they're going to do all these policy changes are taking effect, and they have been many of them have been signed already. Already they've been signed, right? So. You know how they said we're going to, everybody was talking, we're going to go to a digital currency. Wrong. We already have a digital currency. It's been a digital currency for the last 15 years. So we have a digital currency and the system. They've already robbed crypto for their system, which yeah. is why crypto is doing the way it's doing. And now the co-op is coming with crypto so it can, can continue to co-op uh, um, operate. So what we actually have, first of all, is the system of the beast. Right. Yep. It's being set up so that the person who sits in the chair can come forward. So you have to set you have to pr prepare the seat so he can sit on it. That's right. And that, that that's seat right. is being prepared, right. the seat of the beast. And that is the system of the beast. And you're saying it is being worked on. That's right. And, and, and it's that's right. it's a global deal. It's a global elitist involved in it. It's the high tech guys. Well, it's happening. And look yeah, at this distraction. Here's a distraction. While they're building this seat, Elon Musk wants to box Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, no, it's yeah, just a game. Noise. That's a distraction. It's a game. Noise. While there's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. noise. You know, not to be cold or anything, but I think anything that happened that was big recently in the news is a distraction, right? Yeah. It has meaning, yes, but the event itself, I believe, was false, big time false, I do believe, right? This it QR code false. thing, this QR code thing, do you have to have it to go shopping, and if oh, you yeah. do, and, 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 and then they yeah. get it, always get people used to using it. They always, you yeah. know, at first it's okay, everybody, it's easy, yeah, well, it's great, and then they say, oops, by the way, now if you're going to continue with the QR code, you're going to need to really get your social, uh, your credit, social credit score in line. You're taking, you're not, oh, well, you need to be compliant with your medication. You were diagnosed with this, but we see you're not doing that. Uh-uh. You know, you're going to be cut off from this. You won't have access to that. They're going to limit travel. I think I've heard you use this word, citizen containment. Yep. It's coming. Yep. This is what this is, this 15 minute city thing is all about. They're going to take people's rights to drive private cars away. You won't be allowed to fly in planes. This is all part of that citizen containment. Is that right, Mike? Yes, it is. They won't. And they, they won't suffer a breach of the system. It's just like uh, Saudi Arabia right now, right? They're going to build a city of the future. Yeah. Right. Yes. Um, and if nobody has seen that, look at it because they're twenty percent complete already. Do you know that? No. They're twenty percent complete already. So they're nobody's fooling around anymore. They're twenty percent complete pass ball. This is a if huge city. Look, it's a seventy-five mile city. If you look at it, because they say you can travel from one side of that city to the other, right? Seventy-five miles in yeah. less than what, ten minutes, right? Ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, that means modern, technology right? of the future, AI, everything modern is going in this city. And uh everybody's gonna want to move there. It's gonna have a population of billions. Uh I believe they increase the number pass ball. So instead of one single uh, wall, you know, that wall they yeah. were going to build that was yeah. so wide, they, they doubled it. They're already 20% complete already. It is amazing what they've done already. And so, um, you know, everybody's in this forward motion. So if people get tied up in current events in the USA too much in propaganda and politics, you're, you're missing everything around you. I personally, this is my personal belief, I think that at least 90% of politics right now is a distraction. Yeah, I do too. I, I'm, I'm uh, with you, Mike. It's, you know, it's, it's a just a game. It's a. It's it's just they're they're playing. The actors are playing out. The yep. uh, and 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 it's just as they play, and they're being manipulated themselves. They probably don't even know yep, what they are. And, they are. But ninety percent of it is just to keep us entertained, yep. keep us distracted, keep us our emotions up and down while yep. they're setting the kingdom of the beast up. It's being established. The seat it is of happening. the beast it, is being yes. built. Yes, yes, it is. Can you believe we're here already? That's hard to believe. I know it's hard to believe. But, it really uh, is. And if I think about happened. it, Mike, you and I have been talking live on the air for almost 10 years now. Look how far things have advanced in those 10 years. Yeah. Where will we be 10 years from now? 
Oh my, I can't see 10 years. I honestly cannot. I don't either. So that's what I'm I saying. I can't see 10 years. I hope I'll, 10 years now, I hope I'm walking on Are You Serious Boulevard and having you over for uh, dinner. Uh, there you go. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to be you here. Mike, I know one thing, Pastor. I'm going to work until I can't work anymore. I'm, I'm you, going to keep going be, until I can't go anymore. That's right. Me too. Let's keep going. We got to, we got to yep. stay with it. Mike, thank Amen. you so much, brother. Thank you. This is a great show. Thank you so much for uh, sharing this information with us tonight. We're glad you're with us. Pastor Paul, God bless and keep you as always in honor, and I hope it helps someone. I believe it will. Thank you. Oh, and thank Kevin for that music. That music is awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. We'll send yep. you some. How about if I send you some? How about I get a couple things? How about that? Okay. That'd be nice. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mike. God bless. God bless.